my god, he can flash! The team flash! Magnum's in the smoke here, tense. Oh my down. god! Oh, Magnum's got no HP, not like this! Sentinels! They're gonna get the defuse! They've done it! Sentinels are the masters to Reykjavik champions! Honestly, people are gonna hate me for this, but like, obviously like NA this, NA that, but like Gambit is an insanely good team, and I have a feeling they're, they're gonna wipe the floor. He's about to run to site reloading, and Mix will oh, oh, completely whips! Nats! Really? No way! it out! Three kills! They shit on us. I don't even care. That Nats guy is unreal. And when I say unreal, I mean like, if Gambit don't win the next major, holy shit. I don't know what they're doing wrong. Chronicle, the man who just destroyed them in the prior round is just around the squad over the time. Timing, oh my god, what? no! Yeah, he's made a meal of it! It's all going to pieces! No Chronicle! way! In the final moments, has just shone so brightly there, blinded by the lights! Gambit are the Valorant Masters Champions! Going into Valorant's second major in Berlin, all eyes were on Sentinels. Magnum's in the smoke here, tense. Oh my god! Oh, Magnum's got no HP, not like this! Sentinels! They're gonna get the defuse! They've done it! Sentinels are the masters to Reykjavik champions! The reigning kings of Valorant spent the past year dominating the North American scene before winning the game's first international LAN. And they didn't just win the tournament, they won without dropping a single game. But while the world watched them lift the trophy, one team was already plotting their coup. Gambit Esports. Gambit was formed in September 2020 and quickly rose to being one of the strongest teams in the CIS region. And back in March of this year, they made it all the way to the semifinals of the EMEA Stage 2 Challengers Finals. Players now grouping up and ready to push him down. You can feel the tension and you can feel the victory because Fnatic have done it. They've knocked out Gambit and secured themselves a spot in Iceland. But even though Gambit didn't qualify for Iceland, they proved that they could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best teams in the region. They f***ing shit on us. I don't even care. That Nats guy is unreal. That guy is unreal. And when I say unreal, I mean like, if Gambit don't win the next major, holy shit. I don't know what they're doing wrong. Gambit wanted more, and they weren't about to let another chance slip away. Gambit took down nearly every top team in EMEA to earn themselves a spot in Berlin as the number one seed from the region. And when they debuted on the international stage, they didn't disappoint. And then it just becomes a match I don't want to watch anymore because it feels me. Oh! <laughs> oh, don't worry, no one's holding close anymore. Flash didn't see him. Oh, yep, yeah, he's still here. Nax is tucked in the corner, waiting to take the kills. Don't Fisker's gonna go into it. Oh, no. he's even trying to wall bang him. Okay, don't that's do an it. ambitious no, play. They baited him in with Stop. the second player oh, yeah, spraying. It's a 4K already for Nats. It's there just in time to save his teammate's life. The defuse tap. They have to go out and make sure that it's not coming in. Those post line lineups not here. And a quick spray down to close it out. 13 to 1, back to back. And there is no doubt that Gambit have come to Masters 3 on form. Gambit dumpstered Crazy Raccoon in one of the fastest matches ever seen on the international stage. The Japanese squad only managed two rounds across two whole maps. It was utter dominance. But despite Gambit's insane performance, Sentinels were still all anyone could talk about. Nookie, it's all falling to pieces, Sentinels! Tearing away that just a dash of hope that they had, and now it's down to Evova on kill. I'm saying, no, Evova's back here. He's been here every round. He's now surrounded. That's One, two, three. It's just, just gonna be sick to shut him down as Kellogg's prevented the impossible before. This time, sick. I couldn't imagine a better player to close it down and in flawless fashion. And after their win against G2, NA was still on top. So if Gambit really wanted to show that they were the real deal, they'd have to beat 100 Thieves, NA's number two team. Understands he goes there, Ethan's going in there as well, he goes into the corner, Defo good for four, looking to work the ace with the Blade Storm. He goes, he's got a Util, Defo does it, my goodness, the ace to kick off the series for Gambit. Jado still getting pressure to zero point hitting him as it goes no out, that's to be the command. Down as well and Steel just gets dropped. Dude, they can't get in. Like, you shall not pass. That's exactly what Gambit are calling out right now. There's been no window oh for them word. to work an absolutely dominant performance out of Gambit. They smack 100 Thieves around for 16 rounds or 18, whatever the heck it was. <laughs> they just, it was just brutal.
Things started off strong, and Gambit took their momentum into map two, Icebox. But just as it looked like they were poised to take the series, everything came crashing down. Shade off's good for one. Vigo. Vigo. Trades one out. Oh, just narrowly not able to get the second. Vigo. He doesn't pitch again. He's able to get a second one. Hiko, 24 health. Running He's for the fences as Chronicle has plenty of health. Chronicle on the tap. He's got to get Bros it. Bros don't fake. He's got to get it to happen. Oh, there my Hiko God. swings out. He gets four. He gets the Red Bull clutch. 100 Thieves were down, but they steal the round away from Gambit to push us to map three. Gambit choked on Icebox. They lost 10 straight rounds and couldn't close out the map. And then on map three, they lost again. There's nobody going to be playing around Garage as well. They're all huddled in on the site. They're playing it tight. Defo goes up top. He may get a spot on his steal. No, steal swings out. Defo's not able to land a shot. Steal does it. Nitro does it as well. They were down, but they refused to go quietly into that good night. They take down Gambit. They're going to the knockout stage. I just don't even know what just happened. We're going to watch the game, and uh, it's going to be sad that we're going to watch it, but uh, it doesn't matter. About what just happened, I guess we just have to kill them. The most important thing that uh, we just couldn't kill them at all. They're just coming, they're just killing us, and that's the most important thing. I guess that's a, uh, that's a problem. Despite the humiliating loss, Gambit's tournament run wasn't over yet. They still had one last chance to qualify for the playoffs. A 1v1. Redgar has the res, too. Yeah, Redgar has the res. He's going to be able to bring Defo back. Fisker Pushing should know Fisker. where that's coming from. He comes up top. Fisker has the height advantage. Oh, has the shot, my but gosh. no, it's Redgar who does it. A Red Bull clutch, a 3K, and a spot in the knockout stage for Gambit. Gambit's second victory over Crazy Raccoon wasn't nearly as convincing as their first. Both maps were pretty close, and if Gambit wanted to be taken seriously, they'd need to step up their game against Vision Strikers in the quarterfinals. We've already witnessed, for example, when uh, I think it was Ascend had a slow start versus Vision Strikers. That was the map. Yes, like, they, 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 they were lost before anything got going. And the thing is, Vision Strikers also have a lot of really cool little set plays that they're going to be throwing out mm -hmm. to try and almost throw you off. And don't get me wrong, I think Crazy Raccoons played well, but they are not on the level of a team like Vision Strikers. So I, I think Gambit yep. did well, but they need to be much better and very quickly. Vision Strikers were a scary team. They'd already dismantled two of EMEA's best squads on their way to the knockout stage. But when the quarterfinals rolled around, Gambit came to play. They're only going to be considered of who's going to get the front of this. It doesn't hit the back of the site, and will they be able to work off it? Right, it was space that they already had. Shados, good for one. The Rolling Thunder not providing a ton of value as Nats is there as well. They're entirely unfazed by that ultimate. The Classic is there. Nats, oh my what? gosh! Nats! Defending. Gambit! What have we just seen? That was not rated. That was not family friendly, folks. This feels like so Gambit. This is such a Gambit way to potentially clean things up. They try to go in. Buzz gets good on one, but Nats. Who else but Nats? You've got Mako dropping the Viper's Pit. He's in a 1v4, though. He drops down. He gets cleaned up. Chronicle gets it from Diminuendo to Crescendo. The Gambit Symphony put together a beautiful performance. In the end, Gambit was just too strong. Their 2-1 win against the Korean team earned them a spot in the semifinals against G2. He's gonna have to push right through it and just, oh, he's gonna be spotted. Great angle from Chronicle. And he's just buying time at this stage. Shados now coming around to play this together. They drop the pin and close <laughs> it out. Three kills from Chronicle and 13 rounds for Gambit. Nats now having to clutch this one out. No idea where Mixwell is and the snake bite not quite clearing the angle. He's about to run to site reloading and Mixwell completely whips. Nats completely clutches it out. Three kills, five rounds. There seems to be no way for G2 to get off the start. Starting point. Looking for the cross, Kellogg's tag. They're losing their lives. Three players remain. G2 being utterly humiliated. They'll get themselves a spike one. They'll give themselves a bit of hope. But Shados looking to drop more players. Another one falls. It is looking all but over. It's on to Kellogg's to give them anything. And G2 have been humiliated as Gambit make their way through to the final. And who the hell will doubt them now? Gambit didn't just beat G2. They annihilated them. Their win on Icebox marked Valorant's first ever 13-0 victory at an international event. We just witnessed history made here on the Masters Berlin stage, and it comes at the hands of Gambit and Redgar yourself. 
how's that? How does that feel to know that you just made a statement like that in a semi-final first ever 13-0 map? I think it's really amazing because this team is like very important to win them because they are from EMEA region, and this this winning is. I feel really amazing. I didn't feel it like when we win against like Vision Strikers or Crazy Raccoons. So right now I'm feeling th that we are winning right now. Gambit had proven themselves as the single best team from EMEA. They seemed unstoppable, but their record had a black mark from their brutal loss to 100 Thieves. If they truly wanted to be the best, they'd have to beat NA. And on the other side of the bracket, a surprising opponent was dominating the field. Envy went through the entire group stage without dropping a single map, swept Sentinels in the quarterfinals, and then two owed 100 Thieves in the semis. They looked unstoppable. Remember, Gambit couldn't even beat 100 Thieves, and Envy swept them. We're not really worried about what they're doing. Um, we're gonna do our normal prep, and we're gonna go into it with the confidence we have. We just destroyed Sentinels and 100 Thieves, so we have nothing to worry about. We're gonna play our game. But the Russian underdogs were ready to flip the script on who the strongest region really was four on the site for Envy and Crash is just watching as one dash is on board but it's Defo! How has he found that? Infinus has fallen, yeah he still stands that's those Victor but only for so long! Gambit have just butchered Envy and Marv called upon in the final moments here of this first round of OT, not gonna happen, Shados! 25 seconds and they gotta now lean back towards B but Redgar's still here, he still knows what's going on, there's still Nat to the back of the site. Envy, come on, you gotta make this happen, Chronicle, he walks through and destroys Envy! Three back-to-back -back frags and it might be four in a second, he's on the chopping block, Gambit have made it to 12! Chronicle, the man who just destroyed them in the prior round is just around this corner for the time. Timing. Oh my god, what? no! Yeah, he's made a meal of it! It's all going to pieces! No way! Nicole! In the final moments, has just shone so brightly they are blinded by the lights! Gambit are the Valorant Masters Champions! Envy played an extremely close series, but just like in Iceland, the grand finals ended in a 3 0 sweep. Gambit truly showed up when it mattered most. It's all about the communication, it's the key in our team. Yeah, a lot of people watching for Nats. He's a really amazing player. We can't accept, uh, we cannot not accept this. But team play, team work, how we're doing our job, everybody in our team just playing in their game, playing what they want to do, playing what they needed. And this the, it's the key why we, are, we have that kind of performance. Valorant is only a year old. It's still a new game. And Gambit proved that the competition is still wide open. It's scary how good teams are getting yeah, every single tournament we go yeah. to. If you compare the standards we've seen in this best of uh, five compared to the Reykjavik one, it's just another step, even a uh, higher caliber gear. Gambit's unexpected victory in Berlin goes to show that yesterday's champions won't be on top forever, no matter how dominant they might look. And going into champions, anyone can win it all. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring the notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit us up on our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.